What's up everybody? I am here today at Novelty Hill Janik. I think they're Janik Cellars. And we're gonna do a little wine tasting. Um, I am doing the reserve tasting, $25. I am doing the Novelty Hill Oxbow GSM, Columbia Valley. The Janik Campo Vineyard Malbec. The Novelty Hill Cascadia, which is 67% Cabernet Sauvignon, 33% Merlot, and the Janik Campo Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon. All right, let's get this started. All right, they started me out with a little bit of rosé, uh, just to get things flowing. Nice, delicious rosé. So I don't know if you can hear it or not, but apparently they're washing, they're doing some power washing today. Uh, hopefully that does not come across too much in the video. I'm trying to sit back as far as I can. I think you can see the ladder behind me, but hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully the sound will come out all right, but that's not going to stop us. All right, it is starting to rain a touch. This is Seattle after all. Uh, I might move closer to the building if it needs. I know one of those tables is reserved, so I didn't want to sit too close if someone was coming in. Uh, it's not raining too bad. Just kind of a your Seattle mist. So I'm not gonna worry about it unless it gets uh, a lot more. It's currently not raining enough to affect the wine. So eh, we'll sit out here for a while. Kind of like it out here. All right, I did end up moving, and the uh, power washing is really loud, so hopefully that doesn't get too much in the way. We are going to start out with the Oxbow GSM. It's a novelty hill wine. It is 46% Grenache, 27% Syrah, 27% Mervedra. There's a glass of the rosé. Pour that in. Looks nice. Mm, very good, very nice. Uh, notes say black lid kirsch and currants on the nose. Fresh boysenberry and spice on the taste. Mm, I can see that. Very nice. It's a good. I always like a good GSM. That's a good one. So the place I moved over to has a really nice uh, fireplace right behind me. Keep it warm with it. All right. Next up, we have the Janik. Uh, Shampoo Vineyard Malbec. This nice dark purple, kind of like you would expect in a good Malbec. Let's see how this looks. So 97% Malbec, 3% Cabernet. About forty dollars retail. No, good, good. It's a little light in flavor, but very uh, taste is spot on. Very nice. We'll just enjoy this for a little bit now, and we'll move on. Next up, we're going to have the Cascadia. So, tasting notes on this one, uh, nose, plum, and cherry. Palette, uh, blackberry, dark fruit with a hint of spice. All right. Sounds good to me. Good stuff. Looks like the power washing has turned off for now. 
gonna try to power through these while the sound is off. Hopefully they're done. Next up we're doing the Navadi Hill Cascadia which is 67% Cabernet and 33% Merlot. Kind of a very nice dark red. Let's pour this guy into there. Let's see how we're doing. So notes on this one, bright red fruit, uh, Ecuadorian chocolate, and ripe cherries and blackberries. Not sure I can smell any of the chocolate. I don't always have the greatest nose. Um, palette, fresh raspberry, red pepper flakes, pencil shavings, and smooth polished tannins. Uh, always like a nice peppery, peppery wine, especially a Cabernet Merlot. Mmm. Definitely get some of that pepperiness. Um, yeah, that's really good. This is a uh, this is definitely uh, highly drinkable. Something that I would easily buy at home. So the Novelty Hill is a 2018 Cascadia. This is, this is excellent. This is really good. I think as I said, the what I'm doing is the reserve tasting, which is some of their more limited wines. Um, they also have two other options. You can do a white flight for $15, uh, which has a Riesling Viognier, a Roussin, and a Chardonnay. That actually sounds pretty good. I might do that next time I come. There's a classic, which has the Roussin, a Sangiovese, a Merlot, and a Cabernet. Uh, that also sounds really good. So why, the white tasting is 15, classic is 20, reserve is 25, um, and tasting fee is is waived uh, if you buy $35 worth of wine. All right, last up, we have the Janik 2018 Champo Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, this what it looks like in the uh, little vial. Uh, I really like it when they give you all the wines to start and you can do your own do the tasting at your own pace pour how much you want oftentimes i'll pour half and then do a tasting and then essentially do another tasting the second time through today i'm just pouring it all in there's been some good reviews on this cabernet uh tasting notes say uh nose tobacco leather blueberries baker's chocolate and vanilla And on the palate, blueberries, licorice, and rhubarb. Mm. Mm, that's good. That's, that's really nice. Very smooth. Really, really smooth. Uh, definitely some strong tannins. Kind of dries out the mouth. Almost immediate. But really, really tasty. I have to say, I might be uh, preferring the Cascadia a little more. But this is a really, really nice Cabernet. And this one is 100% Cabernet. So quite, quite good. All right, so I've got nothing but empties left. And I would say we've got, we had four wines today. Well, five, including the Rosé. The Rosé was excellent. I would uh, recommend the Rosé. But of the tasting wines, I'm going to say the... Um, the Cascadia was my favorite, followed by the last Cabernet Sauvignon. So it was a Novelty Hill 2018 Cascadia, the Janik 2017 Shampoo Cabernet Sauvignon, Sauvignon. Then I would say the GSM, GSM was excellent. Uh, that was a Novelty Hill 2018 GSM. And uh, least favorite, but still good, was the Janik Chapeau Vineyard Malbec. Um, and well, that's my opinion. So if you get a chance, stop by. It's a really nice place, great space. And uh, we'll take a look inside in, in a few minutes and we'll walk around the compound. And if you get a chance, if you're in Woodenville, stop by Novelty Hill 
Janik. Well, thanks for coming along as we visited Novelty Hill Janik Winery. This is a great spot, wonderful area to go tasting. Just kind of outside of the Hollywood District. Might even be part of the Hollywood District. I don't really know. It was a great tasting. I appreciate your coming along. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll soon visit some more wineries.